for the workers who work here, for the families who mourn. This nation stands with the good people of New York City and New Jersey and Connecticut as we mourn the loss of thousands of our citizens. You know, 175, New York. We have some problems over here right now. We might have a hijack over here, two of them. September 11th, 2001, a day we will never forget. 19 years later, we still don't forget. We don't forget about all the funerals we attended for our brothers and sisters and American citizens. Some of our brothers and sisters, men and women from all over, are still battling their illnesses from 9-11. We will never forget what transpired that day, and God bless America. And I can tell you there's one thought that kept going through my head when those towers fell. They're all dead. And I specifically remember the images of those firemen and those coppers running into the building and knowing that not a single one of them was coming out alive. And it's pretty heartbreaking to think that the last thing that you do heroically is literally the last thing you do. Um, so Godspeed to all of those guys. They were just doing their duty and they are true heroes forever. I think the officers and the firefighters that gave their lives that day are, are, I think they embody truly what we are as first responders. I mean, they knew. They knew going into those buildings that they weren't coming out, and they went anyway, um, because that was their duty and they were going to save as many people as possible. I think it just embodies how heroic we are and how willing we are to sacrifice for our communities to help as many people as we can possibly help. Um, and since taking that job in the NYPD, I actually had to go and guard that location and guard the pit as it was called. Um, it's an extremely somber experience when you realize the, uh, the loss of life that occurred on that day, the pure evil that facilitated that attack. Um, but it shows what we're truly made of. It shows the best of us and it shows that we're absolutely heroes. And no matter what anybody says about us now, you can look back in moments like September 11th and show just how heroic police officers are. Uh, a heart just went out to the people that were in the building and has continued to watch, of course, we saw the first responders going toward the building, going in the building, and then continue to watch and see the horrible things that, uh, that happened later on. I knew that that day that you know, it brought us together as a country. I and everybody said, never forget, never forget. I feel like sometimes now in these times we've forgotten, most especially the heroes, the, the you know, those who saved other people, not even uniformed people, but other citizens who tried to come to the rescue of their fellow citizens that day. And I hope that, you know, in these times um, that we seem so divided and, and we're dealing with all of these challenges that we remember the courage of those people that day, um, because I'll never forget. What I remember most, because I was driving home from uh, D.C. Uh, back to my home in Joliet, Illinois, was that there was no one on the streets. There were, there were very few cars. Uh, it was almost like the entire country just stopped in its tracks. Um, God bless all of those that, that have fallen because of that uh, horrific incident. The, the first responders, the police officers, the firefighters, um, they I'll never forget. On September 11th, 2001, I was a patrolman working for Long Beach Township Police Department on Long Beach Island, New Jersey, right on the coast. I was working that morning and we were in court when one of our lieutenants burst in and said the Twin Towers were hit. Most of us left court, were able to be back at our station and saw the second tower hit. Moments after that, we heard the sonic booms from the F-16s coming from the 177th Fighter Wing headed up to New York. Having served in the military myself, I had no words. You could see that it was a terrorist attack. I had a friend of mine that worked in uh, New York PD, 
on uh, truck six, emergency services. Tony Maginacina had retired like in February. He goes and starts working at the uh, site where the twin towers uh, crumbled, removing stuff. Tony came down with cancer and died about three years later. And we believe that was attributed to him working there on the grounds in a recovery effort. Uh, you know, I hope we never I hope we never have to endure that again. But we had fighter jets uh, flying over our city on patrol, uh, and that's when it became very real. But uh, through all the sorrow and through all the tragedy, I remember feeling very proud to be able to serve and protect my community and bring a sense of peace uh, and protection to them during that time. And we all became Americans proud, proud and stood united. And even today, People who rushed into the building or even worked the pile after are still experiencing life-changing uh, illnesses and families continue to suffer. You know, we must never forget how that event changed our day. You know, we look at the cycle of life that we all take for granted every day. That cycle, cycle of life can change in one instance and it did on September 11th. And because of that, we must never forget.